Mayor Lou Feeney, you are the uh, board president correct. of the land bank. That's correct. So you had a, a medium length meeting. Mm -hmm. What happened uh, this month? Well, the most significant thing I think this month is that um, there's an announcement of a new uh, grant for a demolition statewide, uh, up to $500,000 before any match uh, per county. And so over the next um, 30 to 60 days, we'll be working to collect new addresses. Uh, these are addresses across the county, uh, city and county, that can be um, abandoned, blighted, uh, just need to be torn down, and we can use that grant money to not only tear down, uh, but remediate those properties and get them back into being in marketable, marketable condition. We had a gentleman today from Kingston come in um, talking about a, a property that was abandoned, blighted, had been burned down partially, uh, and that's exactly the type of property we're looking for. So. Uh, across the county, if you've got uh, a property that you own or you know somebody that owns a property or even if it's been completely abandoned, um, get, get a hold of us at the city, the land bank, and get a hold of the county and let us know uh, and we can get that address down and include it in the grant. So that was the biggest thing I think at, at this meeting is the announcement of that next round of funding. And that's uh, a similar grant that you got last year? That's correct, yeah. So we, we have torn down quite a few houses off of a similar grant. Uh, in addition to being torn down, some of them have been uh, moved into new hands and have been improved, so those are uh, rentals or new homes for folks. Uh, two of those properties have gone to Habitat for Humanity for new builds, and so this grant is really an exciting opportunity to take properties in the city uh, and the county that are not being used um, in a way that benefits the community and get them uh, beneficial again. So I think that's the most exciting thing uh, that we've heard recently is that new round of funding. Um, and other than that, uh, we continue to make progress on some of our brownfield remediations. We had a grant for that as well. Uh, brownfield is a, is a property that um, has some sort of contamination on it, and we have a grant not only to find out if there's contamination, uh, but also uh, do studies and potentially remediate that, that property as well. So uh, moving forward and uh, just trying to make the, the land bank a useful tool for the community and improve properties. And one of those brownfield properties that you're looking at is the uh, former rail yard? Yeah, that's correct. So uh, over by uh, CSX uh, on Main Street there, um, just looking at that property to find out what kind of t type of contamination. Uh, we're on to a level two uh, review now. Uh, and we'll look uh, at the possibility of doing remediation if we have money for that as well. And is that through the, uh, the Cooper family? Do they still own it? Uh, I'm not sure about the current owner, but uh, it's across the street from Cooper Glass there. And uh, it was mentioned that 73 West 7th Street is now demolished? That's correct. So that was, uh, that was a property that was on that grant list. Uh, it's a property that is right next to a playground. Uh, was really uh, in bad shape uh, for a long time and so it really feels good to be able to get that one down. It had title issues, still does have title issues, uh, so, and was too far gone uh, to really have any sort of beneficial um, purpose in terms of remodeling, that sort of thing, that the expense far outweighed uh, the ability to get that done. And so that's demolished now, making an area next to a playground much safer and cleaner. Um, so I'm really appreciative that we got that one down. It was also mentioned that uh, Markle's Market, um, I think a gas tank, that was a former, sounds like a former gas station out in the county, maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure the status on that one, but um, abandoned gas, uh, abandoned gas stations uh, often qualify uh, for grants, and so if, if you're aware of a, an abandoned gas station, that's another one to put on our radar. And the land bank is wanting to get out in the county, out of Chillicothe, and uh, help out there. That's correct. I think that covers it, but your next meeting is in a month? That's correct. We'll meet again in a month. We'll discuss some potential properties to be on that new grant. And uh, it was also mentioned that uh, you got a lot of properties inspired owners to take action, so you need to find other dilapidated properties to uh, spend funds on? Yeah, that was kind of the, the good side effect of 30-some properties that we submitted in that last grant that could have been torn down. Quite a few of them um, we basically compelled the existing owners to sell or otherwise uh, transfer their properties to people who uh, have remodeled or fixed them up to the extent that they could be rented or sold and lived in. So uh, the land bank is not simply about de demolition. The land bank is about improving uh, the stock of housing in the community. Um, and so there's lots of different ways uh, to do that. And one of them is uh, to encourage the transfer of properties into the hands of people who will have the ability to re re remodel 
or um, remedy any existing issues. And if there's back taxes or title problems, you guys can get it worked out one way or another? Yeah, the, um, the county treasurer and prosecutor um, have the ability, uh, a unique ability sometimes, to um, either um, foreclose on a property if there's back taxes, um, or sometimes work through those issues with, with the owners uh, in order to get them into new hands. So that's not necessarily the land bank that does that process, but it is something that the treasurer could do uh, in, in conjunction with the prosecutor. And again, as the president of the board, people can contact the mayor's office? That's correct. Or perhaps the county commissioners? Correct, yep. County. Whatever they're comfortable with, reach out to us, and uh, we've got a great staff working on these issues, and we'd be happy to talk to you about the, the properties that you have in mind and see how we can help. All right, Mayor Luke Feeney, of Mayor of Chillicothe, um, president of the, uh, the Land Bank. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you.